You just sold some art. Woohoo! Congratulations. But now what do you do? Record keeping is essential for artists. Let me share with you the 12 things I write down for every sale I have. Hey everyone, I'm Joel Anderson of Joel Anderson Art. I put out new videos every week with tips for the artist entrepreneur doing it all themselves. Keeping a record of all your art sales are important for, you know, for a variety of reasons. So, number one, you want to keep track of all your expenses for tax deductions. Number two, all the sales taxes you collect need to be reported and turned into the state. A third reason is just keeping track of the shows and exhibitions you do year to year to kind of see which ones are maybe worth doing again or to uh, expand and put more money into. And another thing, it will help you uh, look at the data to see maybe you need to raise or lower your prices or the amount you're charging for shipping. For my sales record keeping, I'm just using Google Sheets, you know, it's free. And I have a spreadsheet with 12 columns across the top and then a, a row for each item that I sell. Let me go through each of the columns. So the first column, the date. You know, don't need to describe that any further, I hope. Column two, the thing I sold, the title of the, the, the painting or the print or whatever. Column three is, you know, the venue that I sold it at, you know, whether it be at my studio, maybe on Amazon, you know, uh, a gallery, you know, just list the venue. The fourth column is, you know, was there an event associated with that, that gallery or open studio, just to see if there was some uh, additional cause for people to be there or not. Okay, number five is the person's name that bought it. And number six is their contact information. So hopefully part of the sales process you're collecting either through Square or a piece of paper, the, maybe the people's email address so that you want to get them on uh, your list so you can maybe sell them something else, right? All right, number seven finally is the price. What did you sell it for? And if you gave a discount, what I like to do is, you know, Give the full price and then, you know, kind of with a, a formula, say it was $500, if you gave 10% off, say, I'd say plus 500, minus 50, and then with a comment in that field, I say, hey, I gave this person, you know, 10% discount, you know, for, for whatever reason. A friend, you know, they asked for less, you know, whatever. All right, column eight, the amount of sales tax you collected, so that's important for Know your sales tax reporting to uh, the state and paying that money over. Column nine, how much did you charge for shipping if you shipped it? And column 10, how much did the shipping actually cost you? Hopefully less than what you charged for shipping. So here are two, uh, two uh, areas that you can kind of adjust later on, up or down, depending on if you're making money or losing money in the, the shipping department are just breaking even. Column 11 is the uh, commission that you paid. So if the, the piece sold at a gallery and they took 50%, that's where you would uh, put that in. If uh, you know, we sold through Amazon or Etsy, how much did they take as part of the sale? Or if you know, someone sold it on your behalf and you, know, you paid them a little bit of money for the sale, that's where you write that down. And the last one, number 12, is if you sold it through a Square or PayPal or some other means of accepting credit card or Apple Pay, Google Pay, how much was the, the, that credit card trans, transaction fee? So that's it. That's uh, everything I uh, record um, in several of those columns. You know, I use at tax time to, to total up my deductions. Um, and hopefully, um, if you uh, do all that, you'll find out, well, you sold something, but did you make any money out of it? I hope you did. So I hope you found this useful. Did I forget anything? Or you have uh, another method, please uh, write that down in the, the comments below. I'd enjoy seeing them. If you found this useful, please give me a like, a thumbs up. And if you'd like to get more tips, 
for artist entrepreneurs doing it all themselves, please consider subscribing below. Thank you for watching. Bye.